Hello. Uh, because of recent uh, upgrade to Ocular, Ocular is the PDF viewer for KDE, usually used under Linux, um, it's now much easier to make animations uh, in Latter under Beamer, and I thought I would demonstrate it because it's really cool and really useful and um, pretty easy to do. So here is an example how it looks like. Right, you just immediately start working, and of course, this presentation now I'm showing using um, Ocular. Um, so it just works, right? You show the slide, and the animation immediately starts. Uh, of course, there are options to not that it will start when only when you want to, and so on. But you can have this default decision, which is probably what I want in most of my talks, right? I just want the animation to start, so I don't have to worry about it. And to do this, all you need is a PDF file with the animation. So what does it mean? Uh, every page in the PDF is a frame of the animation, and the animation is going to be formed by a range of pages in the PDF file. And there are many ways to create such PDF files, uh, maybe my favorite way is to use a, a drawing program called IPE, developed by Otfred Chiang, uh, available in the link specified uh, on the slide. And once you created this PDF file, uh, including it in the Beamer presentation or in the PDF file, is pretty straightforward. You need to use the package uh, animate, and then you essentially do uh, something similar to include graphic, animate graphics. There's so various options, right? Autoplay just means uh, start playing it automatically. The width is just the beep. Loop means loop around. And there is an also an option for palindrome where it plays back and forth. And uh, the next option too means this is the frame rate per second. So two frame per second. The next uh, option is where the figure is. So it's under the subdirect of figs, it's called depth. And uh, in fact, it's depth.pdf because it's a PDF file. And then the next two options are the start frame and the end frame. And I included the minimal example uh, that is available in the link below, which is also available in the comments of this video. And that's it. It's very simple and it just works. And um, and you can do it on Linux, so no, no need to use other tools if you want to use to have animations in your uh, presentation.